Actually, I have decided to make some... Да! Хорошо. Actually, I have spent today about six hours uh, in the morphology department. Now I'm preparing for one of my uh, researches. Uh, so I have to prepare the laboratory work. I have to make presentation and I have to prepare an article because uh, uh, I am planning to um, to publish this article uh, in one of the Russian magazines. Actually today it wasn't an easy day. Uh, I came here to the lab uh, at 11 and now I think it's uh, five or five and a half I think. I have already finished my work for today or my tasks for today. I have prepared samples, I have pre made for them the histological techniques to prepare them for the imaging and um, the microscopic uh, analysis. Um, and I have prepared uh, the related part uh, in the article and the presentation also. So, let's see. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mohamed Mohsen. I'm a fourth year dental student. I'm studying here in Pedigorsk Medical Pharmaceutical Institute, branch of Volgograd Medical University. Actually, now I'm on my way to the morphology department to continue my laboratory work there. And I'm very, very late. Now the weather is about minus one or minus two. Feels like minus four. <laughs> it's a kind of freezing. So I'm either. I've arrived and she's not angry. I'm glad for that. So let's start working. Two days ago, I got the specimens from the patients, tissues, and saliva. But I couldn't record this part, so I will show you now how I made it. Actually, I have got these glass slides which are already sterilized and uh, we let them just touch the patient's gingiva, which are already inflamed uh, in the gingiva. I recognize that from the red color uh, of the gingiva and the bleeding parts, the swelling parts. So I just tried to let it touch these parts to get some um, some cells from the from the from the gingiva. Then um, the second part that I've got this. Uh, these small tubes and I let the patients uh, give me some of their saliva in this tube. It's a kind of uh, disgusting for some of you, uh, but this is the scientific work. So actually my, my project is about uh, to find if there is a morphological uh, changes of the saliva during the developing, the developing of the uh, gingivitis or not and also uh, to find uh, if there is a relationship between, between them, them or not. So how I prepare these specimens to the microscopical imaging. After getting the specimens from the patients, now we have got the, uh, these tubes with the saliva and we have these tissues also. Uh, in this glass slide, we have to prepare these these specimens to be able to make for them the micro microscopical imaging to see the results if there is a relationship between the saliva and gingivitis or the following of the gingivitis or not. So, first of all, we get the saliva tubes. We open the tube and we use this. Uh, specific uh, an instrument 
we uh, calculate the amount of the saliva we need or the amount of the drop and we just press this press this button and put it here and take the saliva and put uh, three uh, drops of the saliva uh, in the glass uh, slide after that we take it off and uh, we put it for uh, one day or two days uh, to let the saliva dry but as for the glass slides which have the epithelial cells and the cells have formed the, the inflamed cells from the gingiva if we put it now in the microscope we can't see anything because it's uh, without staining or without the let's say coloring of the tissues so what we will do first of all uh, we put the this uh, stand in each uh, part of this first of all we have here uh, spurt at the alcohol, alcohol, alcohol in different concentrations, then water, then gametoxylene, which is a staining or hematoxylene, then water, then uh, NH3, uh, H2O, then water, then azine, which is staining also, then water, then alcohol, 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 then xylol, xylol, and uh, water. Um, as for the time, we uh, let it in each uh, part of this uh, only three minutes. But as for eosine, we leave it here uh, for. It's better to leave it uh, for five or ten minutes. Finally, I have got these specimens ready for the microscopic imaging, here. Oh my god, it's freezing here. Um, actually, I had to get the break after three hours working in the laboratory. So I need to get some coffee. Coffee helps me to maintain uh, focus, to maintain concentrating. Mm, you know, caffeine. Uh, stimulate the uh, brain's production of the dopamine, um, which helps me to, to keep focusing. What's your name? I'm going to drink coffee. Aha, давай. Ну сколько стоит? Actually, when I was in the secondary school, I was caffeine addicted. Uh, I used to get uh, about four or five, maybe seven cups of uh, coffee a day. Anyway, enjoy it. Now I'm ready to take the specimens to make the microscopic imaging. So, I meet you in So now I have finished my day. Actually, the sun has gone. Uh, I didn't have my breakfast actually. It's quite uh, dramatic, but it's okay. Anyway, see you. So now I have finished my day. Actually, the sun has gone. I didn't have my breakfast actually. It's quite uh, dramatic, but it's okay.
guys all those bad things are for your masks, okay? So, actually, I have just uh, opened some food. The smell of your my skill and you hear I'm starving. Anyway, uh, I want to talk about something. Why I would like to pay such uh, adventurers to pay such uh, effort to make these scientific researches? Mm. Before eating, I was talking about why I am making this. Uh, research or why I pay more attention or pay such an effort for these researches. Actually, and to be honest, the, uh, the classic study or the usual study is much more uh, boring. And attending the usual lectures, the usual practical classes even, uh, is not that interesting but when you start your research your own research uh, you start uh, writing your own article uh, you feel like you are making something you you feel like you are doing something real um, also also one of the things that I have uh, already learned it from doing researches uh, actually this is not my first uh, year to make uh, such research it helps you to solve practical problems it, so, uh, it helps you to increase your knowledge uh, it helps you to to think over the problems to, to get out of your uh, comfort zone that's it also as this is my first vlog i want to say thank you my family thank you dr shamil for motivating me thank you dr Lodmila, for giving me such knowledge for giving me such uh, information for teaching me a lot thank you very much um, my friend almar my best friend actually Thank you, thanks for all people who gave me uh, such motivation.